So this will be part five of Christian Day and everything you need to know. Uh, last time we touched upon uh, how you need to be a teammate with, uh, whether you know be your husband, wife, kind of thing. So you know if the other one's walking in the flesh, you need to you know help them out, uh, help them you know walk in the spirit, or encourage them to, um, because you know as the Bible says you know two will become one flesh. So you know we're a team. So uh, we'll be in Galatians chapter 5, if you guys want to read ahead with me. Um, and like I said, you know, we're going to touch on, you know, through the Spirit and stuff like that. So it's incredibly important, um, you know, the groundwork that needs to be laid down. You know, I don't want you guys, you know, rushing into, you know, a relationship or anything like that uh, without knowing this because you're basically going to set yourself up. Uh, and your you know, partner up for failure um, and you know you can probably get away with you know having one person walk in the spirit and then the other in the flesh for you know a, a time but you know it will get very you know painful after a while that's essentially you know a, a, a Christian with an unbeliever you know what I mean so that that is very painful it's you know grievous and you know, grueling, uh, and it, you know, I, and that's the situation I had with my wife, you know, and rather how she had to deal with me, um, and so, you know, I, I you know, empathize, empathize, <laughs> empathize with people, um, you know, who have, you know, gone through all that, or are in, you know, in the progress of, you know, going through it right now, and so, um, yeah, I, 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 I just want to throw that out there because I do not want you guys, you know, it, it's one thing if, you know, you're already in the situation, you know, I mean, you can't change that, but if you can prepare, uh, to have something, you know, um, you know, how God, you know, planned it, you know, if you, if you can, you know, prepare that ahead of time, you know, that, that's going to be, your, you know, the best case scenario for you guys. So, uh, Galatians chapter five, I will probably, um, yeah, I think I'm going to start off in, uh, yeah, verse 16, sorry, I was contemplating. All right, so Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, uh, this I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts after, or I'm sorry, against the spirit, capital S, and the spirit, capital S, against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. Um, but if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. So I'm going to continue in you know, verse 19. Um, so uh, let's you know, pray to you know, focus and stuff. I, you know, once we get past a few verses, it's like, what, what, huh? Well, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I, I get it. Um, so yeah, verse, um, 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. So now it's going to talk about everything that's, you know, in the flesh. Um, so these are things that we do not want to be doing. Uh, we want to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. You know, it's just, you know, it's like, you know, how Jesus, you know, told Peter, you know, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So, um, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like so it has you know quite a list there so it says and such like of the which i tell you before as i have also told you in time past that they which do the or do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god so that is incredibly you know um incredibly important there so um yeah all those things um and i that would probably correlate to, you know, 1 Corinthians 6, you know, kind of talks about those things, uh, you know, verses 9 through 11. So, yeah, and and Paul, you know, wrote the book of Galatians, so, you know, I mean, like, he's going back, you know, 
uh, you know, first, second Corinthians came before the book of Galatians, so, you know, chronologically it makes sense there. So, yeah, all those things are works of the flesh. So, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, mur envies rather, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. So, half those I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys understand, you know, the other stuff, you know, you guys might want to look up, um, you know, I, I'm... I don't want to go through them, you know, in depth, uh, though it would be very helpful uh, on my part and your guys' part. So, you know, it would benefit me um, to look these things up on my own and, you know, likewise to you guys. Um, so the next part, it's going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit. And um, I'm going to insert here, I'll, I'm going to include in the description box below. Um, I have reference to my friend Bruce. Um, he's a, a pastor and he uh, does teachings and stuff like this. And um, earlier in the beginning of this year, he actually uh, went uh, like, he took basically, because um, the fruits of the Spirit, uh, there's, you know, a handful. So um, he basically would do sermons on like, you know, each, you know, one separately, so, um, I, I was very, um, you know, encouraged and, you know, helped by the, you know, those teachings, and so, um, I do want to recommend, uh, his teachings on there, and I, I will, um, put that in the description box below, um, so, I'm going to start with the fruit of the Spirit, um, because, yeah, I can obviously go in, you know, depth with these, but yeah, if you want to check out uh, my friend Bruce, he, he does a great job on uh, elaborating uh, one by one. So in verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, uh, long-suffering, which is you know, basically patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So, you know, it goes back to... Um, uh, what was it? Yeah, verse 18, but if you be led of, uh, led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. And so it says, um, you know, in verse 23, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Uh, let us not be uh, desiring of vain glory, uh, uh, I'm sorry, provoking one another, envying one another. And so envying, you saw that that was in, you know, uh, basically the works of the flesh. So um, the reason I bring these things up is because if you have two people walking in the spirit, what is your, you know, what's your relationship going to look like? What's your marriage going to look like? Well, let's, let's find out. It's going to be full of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Does that sound like a good relationship to you guys? I mean, it, it sounds, you know, very joyful to me. Um, and, or would you guys rather, you know, be in a relationship that is full of people working in the flesh? You know, uh, would you like adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, you know, revelings, and you know what I mean? So I, I try to make the point, and I, I, I definitely want to make it, you know, biblically, um, that two people walking in the Spirit is the best case scenario. And like I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm being that statement to death, but it's important. So if you have two people walking in the Spirit, and you'll get things like joy, or I'm sorry, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and temperance. You know what I mean? So that's what you can look forward to in a, um, you know, biblical, you know, you know, Christian Dane. So is it harder to attain oh absolutely you know what i mean like it, it's going to be difficult um to find a person who's you know even a professing christian at that um second it's going to be even more difficult to find someone who's 
wanting as a Christian. You know, I think I brought up in the you know first video how, you know, I mean, I, I've told my son how you know, there's believers, there's non-believers, and there's kind of these people who are say they're believers, but they act like unbelievers. So there's a lot of those out there, people who profess to be Christians, but you don't really see the fruit there. So it's incredibly hard. It, it's going to be a difficult path. It's, you know, and... Yeah, I mean, like, what do you expect? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know, what does the Bible say about that? Yeah, and so, um, yeah, I'd highly recommend, you know, you guys um, definitely, you know, be in the Bible uh, praying about this stuff um, because this is an incredible thing to, you know, attain. It really is. And, I mean, obviously... You know, salvation, you know, beats us hands down. Um, you know, the, the, the gospel, how, you know, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day. You know what I mean? Like, that is supreme. Like, there's nothing like that. Um, but, you know, God has given us, you know, things in, you know, in his word that, you know, it, it makes, you know, things, I don't want to say easier, but, you know, I mean, just, I don't know, and, and also it is a picture, you know, of, you know, Christ and the church, too, so, like, there's, you know, so many things, um, that go along with that, and I touched on that, um, in the, uh, playlist I have on, you know, marriage and roles God has given us, you know, that the man is a representation of, you know, Christ, and the woman is a representation of the church, so, you know, there's a reasoning for all this, um, so, yeah, um, this is what, you know, the goal looks like, and so, um, you know, I, w I want to really emphasize, you know, before I even start talking about Dane, even though it's called Christian Dane, and we're on part five already, I, I, I want to build this groundwork first, and I apologize, you know, if anyone's been annoyed by this, they're like, okay, come on already, you know, how many parts do we have to get until we get to, <laughs> you know, the topic at hand, and you know, I get it, but, it, you know, it, you're, you can't get this, you know, day one, you know what I'm saying, like, unless you have two Christians who are walking in the spirit, and, you know what I mean, like, you meet right away, and, like, that, that's uncommon, you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, you really, you know, look and, you know, judge yourself, see where you guys are at, and then, um, you know, understand where, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel, basically, like, what, what the end, you know, goal and result is, um, what you want to attain, um, and, you know, once you understand that, um, you know, then, that's, you know, where you guys pray for discernment and stuff like that. So, you know, you guys are, you know, not deceived by people who, you know, claim to be Christians but aren't, you know, behaving as such. Um, you know, that will really weed out or, you know, filter through a lot of, you know, deceiving people out there, whether they mean to be deceiving or whether they're, you know, deceived themselves. Um, but yeah, so I think now that we finally touched on all this, now it's time to finally, you know, get into, um, you know, day and tips, day and advice, you know, biblically speaking. Um, and now we can finally arrive at that situation. So, um, again, I, I hope you guys weren't annoyed or, you know, what I mean, like just, you know, I, I guess I, I, Pray that you guys be patient with me. Um, I think this is the best, you know, overall um, situation to have in all this. So, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.